This is Jaren.net. We're going to show you how to install and use the uh, Wiimote to play emulators and such. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to the market and download the Wii controller app. It's called Wiimote Control. So Wiimote should probably pick it up here. It's called Wiimote Controller. So we'll go ahead and download it here. Install. Yep. All right, it's installed. And if you want to go ahead and download uh, SNESoid, go ahead and do that too, so we actually have a emulator to play with. So we'll go back. SNESoid. Assuming that's how you pronounce it. We'll search for it. There we go. We'll go download the free version for now. All right, now it's installed. Now what you want to go ahead and do is set up the Wiimote. Go to Wiimote controller. You need to enable the controller, or the input for the Wii. So you want to enable it. Yes. Then go back to language and input. Change current input method. Wii controller IME. So now we'll open up the Wii controller again. App, the Wii controller app. Push the sync button on your Wiimote. Make sure Bluetooth is on on your transformer. Click init and connect. And it should connect in a second. Found one Wii remote. And then if you watch the screen here, when I push a button, A, down, right, up, left. It's got it. So now you want to just make sure that the Wiimote is selected as one of the inputs. Wii controller IME. Now, you will also see that it's selected as the first player just because you have only one connected. Uh, go ahead and F open up SNESoid. You'll want to download a ROM as well. Um, I've got one installed already on my SD card. So, we'll go ahead and navigate to it. It's not an SD card, it's in removable. Micro SD card, and I've got Super Mario World. I'll open it up. So far, so good. Now we want to configure SNES away to use the Wiimote. So go to the settings, other settings, enable Bluetooth gamepad, which is right here. Now you want to go back and change the input mapping, the key mapping. So select key mappings. And uh, ideally, if you're playing Super Nintendo at least, you'll want to get the classic controller uh, adapter so you have like the, the four buttons on the right. Because the Super Nintendo has A, B, and X, Y. Right now you have to use 1, 2, A, and B. Which isn't exactly user friendly, but we'll use this for now. Uh, so just to make sure up is up, down is down, left is left, right is right. We'll do select will be minus, start plus, A is 1, B is 2. We'll do X as B and Y as A. So now we'll go back to the game. Go ahead and click start, start playing using the Wiimote. Now this... Oh, so one more thing you may want to change is to uh, get rid of the on-screen uh, key, uh, keypads, buttons, whatever you want to call them. That's going to be in the input settings and turn off the virtual keypad. Um, of course, you can keep it on, use that instead. Or you can choose the Wiimote. Now you've got it, a working Super Nintendo using a Wiimote on the new E-Pad Transformer. There's no stuttering. Uh, everything's playing back fine. The sound sounds great. Gameplay is good. I haven't tried it yet on uh, more intense games, perhaps like Mario RPG. Um, I can't remember any other games right now, but 
there you have it. Enjoy.